In a normal year, this weekend would have marked the end of the regular season in high school football in Illinois. But we all know this has not been a normal year. Yeah, local stadiums have been dark and silent on Friday nights with a few exceptions. The last three Friday nights, the lights have been on at Everett Stein Stadium at Byron High School. Byron's football team has been using some of its allotted 20 out of season contact days to practice. As far as the lights, it was just uh, you know something special for the kids. To, you know, I know they're missing out on some games right now, and uh, you know we've been practicing a little bit after school, but on Friday nights we've, been, we've tried to get them out here under the lights just to get a feel for you know what a game atmosphere would be like. Set, let's go. It's been going good. We've been working hard and. I don't know, we all miss playing and getting out there, but being under the lights tonight really helps. The atmosphere of Iron football is, is under these lights and on this field, and I think we all connect with that, and it's unfortunate we're not playing real games, but we're making the most out of it. The IHSA doesn't allow tackling during these practices. It's just like contact days in the summer would be. These sessions by Byron are more like a camp than anything else. We're just behind a little bit because, you know, summer we really didn't, we didn't get a camp like we normally do, so we're kind of using this as our camp and installing our offense and defense, which, uh, you know, I think has been very, very productive for us. You really can't do any, you know, physical contact, so there's no blocking, no tackling, anything like that, but as far as, you know, mental reps, I think it's a great thing for our kids. Um, they're getting to know their assignments, and, uh, you know, it's, it's certainly going to help us here, hopefully in the spring, if we get, get to play a season. On a scale 1 to 10, how, how productive have these practices been for you guys? I, I would probably say a 10. You know, um, we're usually we, this is like our fall camp, so um, our summer camp, fall camp. So we're trying to just be the most productive we can, and I think we're making the most out of it, without a doubt. Even though football teams are allowed 20 contact days with their teams, the Tigers put in only eight. Because so many sports programs are trying to squeeze in contact days, not just the fall sports that have been delayed, but also winter and spring sports, there's just not enough time to work in more practices. Our athletic director, Jim Kahn, and also all our head coaches kind of got together and talked about how we wanted these contact days to look. And uh, the one thing we didn't want was kids, uh, you know, choosing one sport over another. So what we did is, is the spring seasons, they took the first, you know, three weeks of contact days. And then this was our three weeks. And then uh, after that, you know, basketball and wrestling would get going. So that, you know, kids didn't have to decide what sport they were doing. By now, COVID-19 safety protocols have become second nature for high school coaches and athletes. We're following protocol, and these kids are doing a great job of understanding that, you know, the, the world that we're living in right now. So, you know, we've had masks on the entire time that we're practicing. Uh, you know, we're probably going above and beyond what we, what we have to do. But, um, you know, the health and safety of the kids is, uh, is the most important thing. We all wear masks all the time. In the, we got weight room in the morning. We all wear masks. The coaches are spraying things down and being as safe as we can. We just want to play football and we're going to do whatever that means. Typically, in a normal year, we'd be wrapping up the regular season about now and everybody would be focused on the playoffs. Does that go through your mind uh, very often? Yeah, I, uh, I actually I checked the calendar the other day just to see kind of where we're at. And you know, it's hard to believe that we would be wrapping up a season and be thinking about, you know, the playoffs and postseason at this point. But, you know, hopefully we get to that point in the spring where we're, where we're talking playoffs. Well, normally the playoff pairings would have gone out this weekend and the first round would have been played next weekend. As of now, regular preseason football practices are scheduled to begin in mid-February with the season opening the first week of March.